Max Wagner came to town. He got his new contract. He's now a member also of the Birdland family. What a year he had as a Clemson Tiger. 27 home runs. 27 of them. That tied a school record and tied for the lead in, in the ACC. And what's interesting about Max Wagner is he didn't start on opening day, barely played his freshman year. He's only 20 years of age, and he's in the fold here as the 42nd overall pick for the Orioles. And we caught up about the run he's had over the last five or six months going from essentially not playing at Clemson to now being a professional baseball player. You know, just stayed humble, um, stayed the same kid I've always been my whole entire life and just continued to have fun playing the game and things just worked out. What changed for you in your game, your hitting approach to go from not starting to ACC Player of the Year and hitting 27 home runs this season? Yeah, um, I'd say my hitting approach really changed um, going from right center field. That's really where I've been really good um, with my approach um, and just really uh, kept that throughout BP in the whole entire season um, and I was able to hit balls the other way. Um, a lot better than my freshman year, and uh, I just got to continue on doing that. Going through your history as a high school prep guy, and maybe it's the bias of coming from the state of Wisconsin, Green Bay, in fact, that maybe you're being overlooked, but Clemson obviously saw something, but take us through high school and then going to the ACC. Yeah, I mean, uh, you don't see a whole lot of Wisconsin players going down to compete in the ACC or SEC um, conferences like that, um, but Clemson, uh, they uh, gave me a shot, and uh, I, would, I would think it uh, worked out for them. So I was trying to research this. There aren't too many Green Bay High School graduates who were drafted professionally. I think I saw one at least since 1990. How much pride do you take in that, representing the town of Green Bay? Yeah, I take a lot of pride. Um, that's always something I try to play for, uh, for the city of Green Bay, because you know the only thing that people know about Green Bay is the Green Bay Packers, and that's about it. They don't, they don't hear about baseball, and the closest thing we got to baseball is the Milwaukee Brewers. So there's not a whole lot of... Uh, production that's been out of Green Bay, so it's really cool to come out of that city. All right, just across the street here, there's a football stadium. Another football team plays there. Any chance we could convert you with time here uh, now wearing a Baltimore jersey? Yeah, I mean, they got a great team, but being from Green Bay, there's really no shot you can change from being a Packers we'll fan. We'll see. We'll get you to a game this fall. <laughs> what are the coldest temperatures you played in growing up? Uh, probably 30 to 40 degrees, I'd say. How many high school games did you get in in a year? Yeah, uh, we started our first game of the season was usually April 1st, um, and then we played until like the middle of June, so roughly 30 to 35. In that sense, do you feel you have a higher ceiling than a lot of guys your age? You just haven't been able to play as much because of the springtime in Wisconsin? I mean, I just had to make the opportunity uh, when it was present. Um, you know, every time I had a shot to go out and play baseball, you know, I just got to do me and good things will happen. You were the 42nd pick. One of the top infield prospects in baseball right now is Gunnar Henderson. In 2019, he was drafted by the Orioles also at 42. Kind of interesting. Maybe there's some luck with that pick. Yeah, I hope so. I know, uh, I mean, I don't know a whole lot about him, but I see a bunch of tweets and videos of him hitting bombs and stuff like that, so that'd be pretty cool. I think you have a few bombs in you as well. Max Wagner, congratulations. Welcome to Baltimore. Yeah, thank you very much. Glad to be here.